So I'll now demonstrate how to make a KBR pellet for IR spectroscopy. So the first thing you need to do is weigh out about 10 milligrams of your sample and between 100 and 200 milligrams of potassium bromide. Um, you want dry potassium bromide, so it needs to be stored in either a desiccator or an oven um, so that it doesn't collect any water from the atmosphere and um, spoil your sample. So I've got here um, my sample compound and some potassium bromide in this little agate uh, mortar. And then I'm going to grind this until it's a nice fine powder um, and then we'll be ready to put it in the press for the next step. And that's what those are here is the presses. So grinding, you just kind of push it into the center and then move the um, pestle around in a circle. Go the other direction too. You get a nice kind of uniform particle size for your homogeneous mixture of your two compounds of potassium bromide and your compound in the salt. So I've got my KBR mixture here, ground up nice and fine. So we're ready to load it into the press. So here's the press body. It's just a really simple chunk of metal with uh, threads going through it. And we've got two bolts here and that you'll notice have a nice mirror finish on their ends. That's important because otherwise our um, glass pellet that we make, kind of our KBR glass pellet wouldn't be smooth enough to work. So the first thing we need to do is thread one of these in. It'll kind of hit a spot, at least for this one, where it doesn't want to go any further. That should be good. You can see the end of our bolt down in there. We'll take, carefully take our mixture here. And <clears throat> add it to the top of our bolt here and we just really need a little bit just enough kind of to cover the end of that bolt so let me see. maybe just a tiny bit more so if you can see down there the layer of a, a compound that's on the top of that bolt is not very thick we don't need a lot of stuff so take the other end part of the bolt spread it in two Put it in the vise. Get that clamped in there nice and tight. And then these um, bolts are 916 head size. It's important to use an actual wrench and not an adjustable wrench like this. This kind will round off the bolts and then you won't be able to use them anymore. So once that's in there, let me tighten. Bolt in there. And you essentially want to use your body weight. Let's get that uh, press a little bit tighter. Device. And I'm pushing on that just basically as tight as I can. Let that rest for a minute before we carefully loosen it to um, see if we've got a nice glass pellet to use. Um, the presses, when they're stored, are usually kept in the oven to keep the water from sticking to them so much so that we have holes you can just further exclude water. It's important though to let them cool down before we use them, otherwise it'll be too hot to touch them and we won't be able to do this step just like you saw me do. Alright, so we've let that sit for a few minutes. Let's go ahead and loosen this bolt off. 
down there we've got kind of a nice reddish shiny looking almost like a piece of glass exactly what we want let's see if we can take the other end off now carefully without breaking our pellet that one i only did finger tight so the wrench was just needed to get it free of the kind of the pressure from between the two nut bolts there So far, oh yeah, very nice. So, we have our little KBR pellet there. No cracks, it is transparent. That might be difficult to see. There you go. You can see that it is transparent. Now we take that. Over to the spectrometer. holder like this a holder like this that can mount up the, um, the little pellet press here that in there first I had to collect a background spectrum with the software first, and that is here. And then if we get here, hit collect sample. This is my sample name. And then we hit collect. And collect our sample, collect our spectrum here. Scan, I don't know if you can see that. It does 16 scans, so it takes like a minute. It doesn't take very long. And we can see our scan. We can hide our background. So it's not important. took one earlier. There's what a proper one looks like in transmittance, tran percent transmittance, which is usually how we look at IR. So, okay. So when we're done, we need to remove our pellet from the press here. So one of the easiest ways to just take a spatula and kind of poke it out of there. They're usually pretty fragile. So you can just kind of chip it out of there with your spatula. There's one little chunk left. Yeah. If you can't get all of your material out with acetone, you can use a little bit of water. That will dissolve the KBR rather well. Just make sure that you rinse it thoroughly with acetone afterwards and of course put it back in the oven. We don't want water in future samples, but if it's Rinse with acetone thoroughly and then put back in the oven. That should mitigate any water problems.